Hey guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm going to show you how to use Copilot to create a Power BI report. And I'm going to do this step by step as always. Now here's the question. Are you ready to allow Copilot to write your DAX code? If so, this is the time, my friend. Let's do it. As you can see, this is the final product, my friends. This is the report that we're going to be creating. Just to give an idea about what's going on here, let's look for Q3 and Q4 in 2014. And as you can see, the information here, the visuals are changing dynamically. And everything here was created by using Copilot. And I'm talking about the measures that we created specifically, okay? So check this out. Right here, we have DAX measures. Every single measure here was created with the help of Copilot. So now guys, no more talking and let's do this. The first thing that you wanna do here is to activate the option. Let's go over file, options and settings. And here you want to select preview features. Let's make sure that the quick measure suggestions is enabled. Make sure that this box is checked and then you're good to go. Hit okay. For this particular case, I already have this checked, so I don't have to do anything. But if that's not the case, you have to close the report and then open the report again. And then you will have the option to create measures with Copilot. Another thing that I realized as well is that you have to be connected to Power BI service in order to make this work. Now let's get started, folks. Let's go over modeling here and then hit quick measure. So once you're there, as you can see, you have two options here, calculations or suggestions with Copilot. And of course, we're gonna be using suggestions with Copilot. The first measure that we're gonna be creating here is total profits, okay? So let's write total profits here. And then hit generate. And let's see what happens. Boom. So now we have this measure, which makes sense because measures are aggregations. So we are good. Let's add this and here we just need to rename this measure. Okay. So let's call this total profits for now. Let's hit enter. Boom. Another cool thing that we want to do here is let's store this measure in the DAX measures table. And then here comma, and then we don't care about decimals zero right there. Perfect. So we are good to go now. So we just created our first measure. The second measure that we want to create here is total sales. So let's do this again. Total sales here. It is right there. Hit generate and then automatically you can see this suggestion. So it looks totally fine. Let's add this. And here let's call this total sales hit enter and then you can also make the changes here as well DAX measures here comma zero decimals perfect let's create another measure here total cost of goods sold let's select this option generate it looks fine let's add this rename this again There you go. Let's hit approve. So this is going to be a little bit repetitive, but that's the idea is to practice. Okay. DAX measures here, comma. Okay. Perfect. We just edit this. So we are good to go. And then let's keep working guys. Discounts here.
Perfect. We can still create a couple more measures and we're going to be using previous month measures. Okay. Previous month profit. Now you can see here, it's a little bit more complex, but this makes sense. So you have to be familiar with DAX calculations and that way you can see if the code makes sense. For this particular case, the code makes sense. We are looking at profits here and also we might want to make a couple of adjustments here, but we will get there in a minute. Okay. So let's add here for now, specifically for the date column from the calendar table. So here, previous month profit. And here, this is what I'm talking about. For this particular case, we're going to select here the date column from the calendar table. There you go. That is what we're looking for. So it's critical here that the developer should have knowledge about these type of calculations so we can make the adjustments quickly. Let's approve this change. And then we can also move this measure to the DAX measures table. So right here, and then zero decimals. So we are good to go. We can also create another measure here for sales. Previous month sales. We have to create a couple more measures. Let's do this quickly. Month over month profit. Okay. Month over month profit. Check this out. Generate this. So this looks fine. So we might need to make a couple of adjustments here as well, but this looks fine. So let's add this. So once we are here, We need to adjust this as well. This should be the dates column from the calendar table. And then the other pieces are totally fine. Let's change the measure here, the name of the measure. This should be month over month profit. And then let's approve this change. So let's do the same for month over month for sales, okay? So month over month sales, check this out. So this should be month over month sales. Uh, before we generate this, let's quickly check this measure. We have to change this. We have to move this to the DAX measures table. And this should be percentage, okay? Percentage. And we get about just zero decimals. Okay. Boom. Perfect. So now let's get another measure for sales month over month sales. So now we are ready to start creating our report. Let's do this quickly. Right click, add visual. For the first visual, we're going to be using a KPI. Value, this is going to be total profit. Total profits, right there. Trend axis, we're going to be using the date column from the calendar table. And then target, this is going to be previous month. Previous month profit. So now you can see the numbers here, okay? Perfect. We just created our first KPI here. Sales. Add visual again. Add data. This is going to be sales. Okay. 
perfect control C control V let's change this measure instead of sales we're going to be selecting costs total cost of goods sold perfect control C control V We are almost there, folks. So remember here, we are just adding visuals, okay? This should be month over month profit. Month over month profit. It's right there. And then we're gonna be selecting and for axis, X axis. So we are selecting here the date column from the calendar table. Perfect. We can customize the title here. We are making a couple of changes here as well. It's working perfectly fine. Another cool thing that we want to do here is to add conditional formatting as well. But before we do that, let's remove the X axis titles. X and Y axis titles. Awesome. Cool. Let's add the conditional formatting here real quick. Right click. Select this visual, go over here more options, columns, and then here, rules. So the rule is gonna be, if it's minimum, it's greater than minimum, and less than zero, this should be red. Hit okay. Perfect. We can copy this, Control C, Control V. And right here, let's change the measure. Month over month sales. Awesome. So let's check here. Let's edit the conditional formatting here. This should be month over month sales. And then the rule is basically the same. If it's less than zero, this should be red. Hit OK. Perfect. And this is the time, folks, to create the last two visuals. Right click again. So here we're going to be using a matrix, OK? For values, we're going to be using here three different measures, total profits, previous month profits, and then month over month profits. Check this out. Month over month profits. We can rearrange this a little bit better here. We can also make a couple of adjustments here if we want. Style presets, none. Perfect. And then let's add conditional formatting to this visual. Right click, conditional formatting, icons. So what is the rule here? The rule is going to be 
and we want this to be on the right side. If it's greater than minimum, zero here, and less than zero in terms of numbers, so this should be, if it's greater or equal zero and then less than maximum in terms of numbers this should be we should have this arrow up here okay so let's hit okay and let's see what happens awesome so it's working perfectly fine my friends copy this visual control c control v and then let's change the measures here because this is going to be for sales okay instead of total profits total sales instead of previous month profit previous month sales instead of month over month profit month over month sales and then here we can also add conditional formatting conditional formatting icons just a couple here minimum less than zero number if that's the case this one right here this should be zero number maximum number if that's the case this should be a green icon let's hit okay and let's see what happens perfect we can also change here if we want So we can have the icon on the right side. Check this out. It's working perfectly fine, my friends. There you have it, my friends. This is the result. We can also play with the filters here if we want Germany, France, and Mexico. And then this is changing automatically. So this means that this is working perfectly fine. And we can also make a couple adjustments here for period, the last two quarters in 2014 and then you can also see that the numbers are changing dynamically what are your thoughts about copilot now we are done with this project right what are your thoughts about that it's powerful in my opinion but the power bi developer should also have knowledge about dax calculations to make the code work but there you have it my friends i hope you found this helpful if so check these tutorials out as well really good content and of course Leave your questions and comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for your time and see you next time.